Greyhound Friends has been in town since May 1st, 1987, and uh, has contributed in, in, in many ways and would, I think, be a good neighbor. As a Hopkintonian, I think enough is enough. I think that it's time that we say not in Hopkinton, not again. On Tuesday, September 11th, the Board of Selectmen will host a public hearing to discuss if they should allow Greyhound Friends to reopen. Greyhound Friends was shut down in January 2017 by state authorities. This has just been a real distraction, and um, I, I think it's um, something that really shouldn't have happened. We can't let this happen again in our town. We just can't. And if we do, shame on us. I mean, if this isn't enough, what would be enough to shut this place down for good? You have to ask yourself that. Former director Louise Coleman stated that the loser with Greyhound Friends being shut down is the dogs. It, it seems really, really unfortunate to me that um, the Greyhound Friends has been closed since January 2017. That uh, Greyhound Friends could easily have placed 300, 350 dogs. That, that the dogs have suffered for that. And also that um, Greyhound Friends is both a, a local and a global organization, and because of all of this distraction, we haven't had time to do the international work. So that, uh, again, the dogs have suffered because of that. Um, it, it, it generally has seemed to me to be uh, a, a, something that, that really should never have happened, that if uh, people had had problems with me or problems with Greyhound Friends, that they could have talked it over. That. Uh, the fact that there was a, a, a four-day bench trial, I mean, how much does that run? I mean, how much did that cost the taxpayers? I mean, it just seems way blown out of a proportion and, uh, and really damaging. I mean, the Greyhound Friends Insurance Company has spent a quarter of a million dollars. It's, and again, the, the biggest loser in all of this has been the dogs, that uh, the tracks in Florida are closing, that... Uh, Greyhounds get on uh, the plane in Miami and they get off in Buenos Aires. Uh, it's, it's just, this has just been a real distraction. And um, I, I think it's um, something that really shouldn't have happened. Hopkinton resident Beth Malloy, who is involved with the website truthaboutgreyhoundfriends.com, spoke heavily against the business reopening. I have to say that one of the reasons why I reached out to you was because of a recent interview that you did where um, the ex-founder or the founder was referring to the uh, investigations into her as a distraction. Um, I got a little upset with that because it was more than just a distraction. There were dogs that were hurt over there. There was Hook who was attacked by two dogs and left without medical um, medical uh, help for four days, in which case all of his injuries became infected and he needed drains. There was um, Candy, who we based the um, Stand Up For Candy Facebook site on, and she came out of there and she was urinating blood and she had a bladder stone about this big in her. And it had to have been growing for quite some time. There was Emma who was picked up by Pity Love. And Emma came out of there after being there about 60 days. She came out of there um, coughing with uh, heartworm, full-blown heartworm, um, showing all the signs with engorged ticks all over her, and she was a mess. And that shouldn't happen in a rescue. I worked in rescue, and I know that when you adopt a dog, you have two weeks to have the dog evaluated so how did a dog come out of there after two months with, you know, full-blown heartworm and in such a condition? No matter what side you stand on, you will be able to get your voice heard at the Board of Selectmen public hearing starting at 8.30 p.m. on Tuesday, September 11th at the HCAM Studios.